Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about the Play Blast option in Maya. Now, Play Blast is a very important and very handy option for the animators. Now, when you have created an animation like this file I have already created, you can see there is a 100 frames file. Now, the thing is when I am playing back from the timeline view, my animation is not playing smoothly or else in terms of uh, uh, real-time animation. It's not showing up each and every frame, each and every details of the animation. Now, this is where the Play Blast feature comes to play. Now, if you need to see this render, you don't have to render the actual image from the you know, uh, patch rendering system. Instead of that, what you can do, you can create a temporary uh, video file or an image sequence which can show you your animation smoothly. Like we can go to Windows, Play Blast, this is one. You can go to the playback menu and go to Play Blast option, or else on the timeline, you can right click and you can create Play Blast. Now, let me show you the different option of this Play Blast option. Now, <coughs> whether you are coming from the window menu or maybe the playback menu, you will get the same uh, options over here. The initial options are self-explanatory, which, which are the view that you are actually uh, going to show. Show the ornaments means the details of the camera, like my camera is right now 96540 and the name of the camera is camera 1. So this will visible to that particular video. And there are other options also, like what are the file format. There are three different file formats. One is QuickTime, one is AVI and another, another one is Image Sequence. Now, the Image Sequence is a pretty interesting one that I'm going to discuss uh, a little later. Okay, so encoding options are uh, the depend upon which uh, codec that you are going to you know use for the uh, for the video the quality of the video is uh, i mean you can reduce the quality if you don't need is that much of a detail just a motion and all you can reduce or you can increase the video to 100 100 percent but uh, let me tell you one thing that if, the more the quality the more uh, file size it will uh, take and also sometimes if your animation right now i have only one character and no detail model or, or something like that if you have a very heavy models or something uh, or maybe a cityscape or, or or like that that sometimes creates a lot of time anyway so now the display size it's uh, it's either from the window that we are having right now. Now I can I can here actually by con pressing Control Space Bar I can increase the window size from here also like this. Or maybe you can use this render setting from render settings option. Or you can customize your size. It's up to you. The second thing is a self-explanatory also that is a scale the size of the window. And then it will reduce by this this much of percent. Like I have a uh, let's suppose I have I am doing it from the render settings. Render setting is my 96540, and this will be half of this, uh, half of the 960 and 540 because it's 0.50. So it's it's pretty much simple. Frame padding actually come come to play when you are actually using the image sequence. So and also. You can remove the temporary files after uh, after the play blast has been done, and also you can save the file. If you want the temporary files, you can you can access it from your temp, temp folder, wherever it's your temp folder is located. You can access from there. Okay, let's do the play blast thing first. Then I will explain you what is the difference between the image and the other two things. Okay. Now hit play blast and you can see immediately the counting has been started and my video is actually been created. This is not exactly like the screen capture uh, things but uh, it is actually grabbing the viewport uh, or the motion in the viewports. So okay so you can see immediately your animation is actually been played smoothly exactly in the real-time player, I'm oh, sorry, real-time manner. 
So now I can see whether I'm I'm happy with my uh, sold movement of this guy, or maybe I need to improve it. So it's up to up to you now. Or this this is a very nice one uh, for the uh, for the supervisors, or uh, for the for your client when you are going to send a, a very draft uh, preview of the animation what is coming up. Now let's move on and discuss about the image format now avi and quicktimes are pretty much similar there is no difference on that one is quicktime and another one is uh, say audiovisual input output device so <coughs> these are the basic two different uh, basic two uh, formats the third one is pretty interesting which is i will set it to global okay this one will actually trigger another uh, feature of maya which is called f check I hope few of you are actually already aware of this one. Let's see. If you play Blast, you can see the similar things are happening. Exactly same. Ah, uh, the animation is getting calculated. Okay. Done, 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 done. Almost done. Now, you can see this is something different. This is not exactly like the uh, uh, the video player sort of things. Now, initially, whatever it's you are actually seeing, it's the, it's the timeline, how many frames are being calculated, and also you can see whether your animation is actually being played on the real time or not. This is a very nice way to check if you have, whether your memory system or the memory card you are having is giving a full power or your, your supports uh, are you need some extra support. Like right now, I don't need any extra support because my you know FPS is fairly around 24, so I don't need any extra RAM for that. And uh, you can see this one, uh, my animations are also. Uh, playing pretty much uh, smoothly now I would like to add few things over here now this is a very important one whenever you are actually for the first time you are watching this one this F check the images are being loaded up okay so from the first preview has to be a little slow from the second review so from the second preview the second playback it will start playing in the real-time manner it has to so this is how it actually works it's actually saving the images on the temporary files and it's getting loaded from there so this is where the image sequence are actually very useful now what is the plus point of using this one apart from this playback uh, these are the playback options that we can get which is uh, well, it's not that much great because you can get it from the quicktime player also but what are the plus points are you can actually scrub through by clicking see you can scrub through back and forth exactly like the timeline now the interesting part is the timeline is not that much of free while you are actually you know you, you can see there's a some skip is still going on but whereas my this file it's not actually skipping anything it's very smooth because it's already been loaded up or else you can use either by the mouse or you can use the arrow keys to go back and forth so this is a very interesting one and the most another one is for for the for the supervisors or the senior animators when you are actually uh, you know giving a review you can see that this frame i might want this character's arc to be a little more so I can right click and draw a line. No, I want this arc to be more prominent. So now, whenever you are actually scrubbing through, and you can see on my 62, 60 second frame, the arc is there, and again it's gone. So it's a kind of a, uh, you know, it's a very useful one when you are actually giving a feedback of certain animation. Well, you can actually uh, you know save the animation and you can 
you know, in, I mean, save the animation with this particular image and all, or these lines, all all those things. But these are very useful when you are actually explaining about about something while the animation is still in progress. So this is where the is uh, uh, the play blast actually actually comes to play, and it's very 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 intuitive. So hope you understand this, and hope your your animation will will be get even better by using this uh, play blast feature of Autodesk Maya. So hope you enjoy this. Thank you very much. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you very much.